Raywin's ambitions were growing, and those ambitions were to cost coin, far more than what she could earn fighting in tournaments. The Lords of Essos were beginning to recognize the name Raywin. Betting on herself in these fights would not last as her fame grew. No, she would need to earn coin in other ways, working for the various Lords of Essos and for herself, selling chalices, goblets, baubles, transporting them across the land of Essos to build up the funding she would need to make her moves. All across this land she had seen the instability, the constant warring of these lords. If she wants to put a stop, an end to this suffering, it would begin here. And her sights were set towards the sea. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Raywin's Tale. Now, as you saw through the introduction, quite a bit has happened since we've played last. A number of days, in fact. I believe we were on like 267, or rather 167 when we stopped, and we're at about 212 now. So we've had quite a few days in between. Most of it has been riding through these various um, cities throughout Essos, collecting and selling, trying to build up our wealth. And right now, our wealth might not seem very high, but we have silk works, silk and dye works in almost, well, not every city, but in many of them. We actually have quite a bit of money in Bravos as well, in the Iron Bank, so that will be slowly accruing interest over time, which means more funds for us, which is great. Um, Rios has continued to just provide huge amounts of funds for us because of their production of golden chalices at a alarmingly cheap rate. You did see throughout the intro that it fluctuates a bit, but overall absolutely amazing source of income. That and tournaments have been fantastic for Raywin. Now looking at her party, we are nearly maxed out at this stage and we have a number of high class units. We've been trying to move them up as best we can to prepare ourselves for, well, an event. And that event is the Siege of Bravos. As you can see, Bravos still hasn't been taken. And believe me, they've been attacked many times. For us to be able to win in a battle against Bravos, we have two options. We can try and siege them and actually siege them try to starve them out or we could try and win in an actual fight i think that we might be able to starve them out now because we don't have huge numbers they could sally out and decide to attack us if they do we'll be in a little bit of a pickle however we do have you know decent troops are they decent enough well that remains to be seen i think what we are going to have to do though is just load up our inventory with bread just bread for days now valisar let's see what you actually have for us at this stage um as you can see we have a dye works here we're going to go to um not here there's camels fantastic no but we want to go to goods and uh well we'll go ahead and pick up some of your bread we'll pick up some of your fine smoked fish as well and the main thing that's good about all the work we've been doing we don't pay wages anymore yeah we have enough we have enough coming in now that we're actually getting a profit every month that's always nice so looking here yep we're going to go ahead and pick up all of this bread until it tells us we can't do it anymore you can see that we sold some chalices here just recently uh we've got some bags of grain coming in there as well let's see how we are looking yep we've still got a few more spaces so let's just carry it on here across the way looks like they are mounting for an attack of some kind um yeah now because bravos has one city it still has other lords so that's something that we'd need to watch out for is that they can come and attack us while we are just chilling out trying to siege the place down so yeah all of it is worth being mindful of and that is us maxed out on food right now 
so with that being the case we need to start riding up towards bravos then we're gonna have to create a little bit of trouble both these villages have been looted we're gonna have to try and find one of their lords in the field to try and attack if we don't try and attack them what will end up happening is uh, we won't be able to siege the city and that's not good for anyone so we are going to continue riding on towards bravos <laughs> to see if we are going to be able to become a sea lord ourselves. Okay, well, interesting. Travelling along the roads, we notice a ghastly sight in the distance, lashed across numerous wooden spokes are the mutilated bodies of many men and women. The air is thick with flies, and the smell coming off the rotten bodies is overwhelming. A crude wooden plank has been set up, revealing a short and simple message saying, they fled. We decide to leave, and that's probably... A good decision. Yes, the ways in Essos are rough. See, we have 20 day, days of food left at this stage. We won't have as much once we get back up there. We need to have around about 35. So we will have starving men by the end of the siege. Rough. And here we go. We can see our overall profits at this stage. Now, we aren't 100% there. You can see that it cost us a little bit more than I would have liked but uh, it's because the weeping town for some reason has just dropped down to only producing 68 everything else you can see is pretty much consistent the die works are always giving us around about 500 which is excellent the more of those that we can have the better <laughs> whilst riding up and wanting to uh, use the port at Mir, we have discovered that there's a melee so we are going to be taking part in that melee because well it's it's effectively free money because it is literally just Raywin and her band here putting on a show it's going to be a good profit as well so I'm going to go ahead and just jump straight through this tournament because we pretty much know how it's going to go at this stage although I did think that I would show off at the very least what it looks like here and it's not a bad little arena and it looks like Martin and Garrett have drawn for second place however we did come out on top and we got a fine looking palfrey as a prize our relation with Mir have uh, has increased as well so I'm definitely definitely happy about that uh where is our palfrey um oh shoot we wouldn't have actually got it as a prize that's unfortunate because we had stocked up on bread and other things well yeah not much that we can do about that unfortunately i guess we got it but we didn't get it or maybe oh, i'd like to think it went to one of our companions but uh maybe we weren't so lucky regardless we are going to be continuing on our way to bravos ah uh, interesting okay so there's been a development while we've been riding up word has reached you that invaders have landed in the stormlands and have taken the castle of greenstone according to a man standing close by who recounts one of the numerous rumors spreading across the land they're half man half beast the man is shaking with fright as he describes their evil eyes their black and golden armor their helmets adorned with dragons griffins and skulls supposedly the remnants of men who have gone into exile in essos over the years well it sounds like us twisted by greed lust loss and madness into wild beasts of intent on set intent on setting the world afire in truth it is the sellsword company known as the golden company that has invaded to claim the iron throne for the son of prince Rhaegar, a man claiming to be the son named aegon was killed as an infant but the prince of dawn dorian martel has vowed to support his nephew and the dornish are on the march to fight alongside the pretender so we have a prince aegon and the martels and dawn are supporting them we can see that house targaryen is now on the board okay well things are heating up and wars are being declared across the uh, across the board and dawn is also supporting them by declaring war against everybody pretty much uh, so now we can see over here um, oh yes this is him them here just on this little aisle wow not starting off as much 
down here in Greenstone. Very interesting. House Targaryen moving in to mix things up and uh, Dawn. Well, Dawn's finally joining the fight, it would seem. How are things going on here in the north? Well, the north is still very split apart. And we even have, uh, yeah, East Watch is now owned by Dragonstone. Yep. Um, because of the support, I think, that they did uh, when they reinforced the wall when we were up there, actually. Uh, but yeah. We have the Targaryens on the board, what can I say? That's interesting, considering we're making our move at the same time. Well, we will have to keep our fingers on the pulse. Oh, while trying to uh, get some supplies near to Bravos, we've found ourselves assaulted by bandits. A decent number of them at that. We should be able to handle ourselves here just fine. Make quick work of them. Well done, you. Is that all of them? Or are there others? No, that is all. And uh, yes, I was trying to see if we could claim some supplies here. It looks like they are just selling wood. <clears throat> we have a few openings. Unfortunately, Raos isn't going to be selling any food. Bravos might. We could take the boat across to Bravos to be able to see. Um, it looks like Traeger is being raided currently. So the assault on Bravos most certainly has not ended. I think we'll just have to go across and see what awaits us. There's over 500 troops inside. Yeah, quite a few, quite a few. And as you can see, they are now producing chalices at an alarmingly cheap rate. Very, very cheap. Now, what I'm, what I think is going to end up happening here is uh, we're more than likely going to have them cause some pretty significant issues for us in that they are going to sally out. And there isn't much we can do about that. We do need to get them angry to begin with, so we either need to try and find one of their trade caravans or one of their lords to be able to uh, pursue. Sausages, yes please, get in my belly. We'll have a look at some of the others here. And uh, yeah, I'm beginning to think that maybe there might be another option for us. Um, <laughs> Other than Bravos, Bravos being a main city and being the last bastion of the Bravosi faction. Eh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to be holding on. They are going to be holding on. And some more of their lords have just escaped from ca captivity, so they're going to be returning to there. All in all, that's not super. But we will see if we can find some riding about here and do what we can to begin this siege. Well, I hate to do it. But there are some harvesting season. There are some Bravosi peasants on their way out of here, and we need to effectively declare war on them, in a sense. And the only way we're going to be able to do this is by um, making them our enemy, which we have done now. We have lost honor for it, but there, there's little choice that we have in our current position. We are going to charge the enemy. With our 114, I think we should be able to manage the fight. We can see them up there on the hill. It's not going to take long for our troops to be able to run them down. It's a bit of an orc position for our cavalry though. I'm not super happy about it. Let's see if we can get the cavalry to pull back again. And run back in towards them after a moment or two. The archers will certainly be able to do something about this. Alright. Line up all. Line up. It's a chance for them to get more experience as well. It's certainly a chance for us to get enemies. Charge in infantry. It is a rough way to declare our intentions. What is done is done. Blood has been spilt. The fight against Bravos begins. We'll share what is there with our men. Can't claim any food, unfortunately. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. 
some elite Dragonstone men and the last of our Bravosi crosswomen are getting upgraded. Um, so we can see now they are red on the board for us. There are 600 in there. That is not what we want to see. We have 25 days worth of food left. We are going to begin besieging this town. They have more than 40 days worth of food there. We cannot outlast that, I believe. We will prepare the ladders to attack. It will take 30 hours to do so. We will wait and we will see what becomes of this. Hmm. The longer we wait, the longer we have chances for things to go wrong. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. That's always nice. One of our men and the enemy soldiers do not shout. They're shouting insults at each other. This can affect the spirit, fighting spirit of the men when we attack. Um, our men and the enemy soldiers do not shout insults at each other as much anymore and sometimes talk to each other. Uh, we will punish the... Uh, they wow, we lost honor and lost morale. Well, we didn't want them talking to each other. <laughs> that is unfortunate. The three sisters have declared war against Bravos now. Okay, well, okay, that's really not that bad at all. During the night, our men discover a band of soldiers which were trying to uh, ambush one of our foraging parties. 74 of theirs killed, that's amazing. We're going to reward each with a coin purse, definitely. Okay, we're on 25 days worth of food. Okay, we have another event. We come across a young man bearing the clothes of a minor noble. When he sees you, he signals for you to follow. Curious, you do so. When you're alone, he kicks you in the groin. Um, we will punch him in the face. Okay, he's a madman in stolen clothing. <laughs> Right, sure. So, what are we going to do at this stage? Well, yeah, the food stores should last for 38 more days. We are going to... We are going to wait until tomorrow. Wait until tomorrow? Um, why will you not let me wait? That's really frustrating. You should be able to pass time by allowing me to wait. If we abandon the siege now, they will be able to just allow food in. This is not working. That's really frustrating. Um, let's see. <laughs> no, they're wanting to hold. Um, and you will not allow me to wait until tomorrow. Well, that's really frustrating. They're really only giving us one option here, and that is to try and siege down this castle. They have over 600 troops in there. We have only 100. That's... Yeah, that's not going to happen. And this isn't passing time very quickly at all. <laughs> Okay, so, what can we do at the stage? The only thing that we can do is try and lead our soldiers in an assault. That's all that we can do. Ugh, oh, yuck. That's not great. The defenders sally out to meet our assault. Well, here we go, guys and gals. This is our chance to get in before the enemy do and establish some kind of a beachhead. It's not going to be much of one. Well, there's the leader of their faction, I believe. We'll take him down as quickly as we can. Oh. There we go. That's got to do something for us as we start to try and push in. See if we can make our way around the side here. Towards our enemies. Right. Make headway where we can. There's another Lord down. Oh, that was a rough hit. Good job, archers. Crossbowmen actually worth their money. Be very careful not to fall into the water here. There's a few invisible walls. I'm working around. There we go. Good job, crossbows. Come on. Excellent job, crossbows. Oh. Back up. Shield time, shield time. Oh, shit. Come on, shield. Damn it. 
That's frustrating. A lot of unnecessary damage taken there. I just have to sword and board for now. Come on then. Try your worst. Luckily, they don't seem to have many crossbows themselves. They do have a lot of pretty decent troops by the looks of things. One more hit and we'll be down. Which is kind of why I'm wanting to just use this at range. Come on. Excellent job, crossbows. Come on. Starting to make it through. Here we go, troops. Here we go. Keep moving. On to the next lock. They're gonna have many more reinforcements. This is only the first round of enemy troops. In we go, in we go. Keep swinging away. Oh, trouble. Push on through. We've still got many alive on our side, which is good. Even our troops that go down will more than likely be wounded and not actually dead. Come on, can't get a swing through here. Let's see if we've got any up here. Nope. Heading back downstairs then. Got some blood soaked men. Gonna be a bit of a push to get through. Still pushing to make it through. It does sound like we've got through the majority of them here, but we are still kind of uh, stuck at this stage. See if we can maneuver over our troops. <laughs> oh, apparently that is a victory for now. Okay, our casualties. We <laughs> we only lost 29 in total. The enemy lost 155, which is fantastic. The fight will be continuing though. This is happening in stages. That was just their initial assault selling out to meet us. If we can keep up this rate, we should be looking good, but that's 150 down. They still have many more troops there. Shall we wait until tomorrow? We'll see if we can. Right, I don't know if that's given us actually any time to recover. We're just gonna hope that some of our troops have. Lead our soldiers in the assault. And hopefully we, yeah, we've recovered a little bit. And wow, they were ready this time though. Look at this. They are ready and uh, in quite a dangerous position for us actually. So we need to try and get through this group as quickly as we can. Ooh. Crossbows are hitting us from somewhere. Bolts. Watch out for this bloody ladder. Not a good stumble. Keep the attacks coming in. Hearing more shots. Yep. Looks like we've got a lot of troops up there. Move around the back again. Oh, wow. It's a lot of crossbows. Not happy about that. I 
gonna have to drop my guard for a second. Luckily, most of them seem to be pretty thick. Oh crap. Yep. <laughs> I say that. I don't want to turn my back here at all. Shit. Bloody crossbows. Well. We're still a part of the fight. Apparently we've still got some crossbowmen ourselves. Unfortunately. This poor fellow isn't going to even be able to get through the armor, I think. You see that? Just bounces straight off. And that's a crossbowman that's just fallen off the boat. <laughs> okay. Well, this definitely hasn't gone as well for us. And I think that's the last of our troops down. We will pull back. Yeah. That was really not as good. 26 killed, many, many wounded. We're gonna have to pull back at that stage, I think, unless we can, if we can actually wait, and it's actually allowing us to wait now. This does give us a chance to have some of our troops recover. It also gives them a chance as well. You see what's kind of happened here though, is that, uh, yeah, it's kind of working, kind of not at the same time. We do have some extra troops that are, starting to mount this up and we have Melly who has come back and joined us I have been sending many of our companions out to try and spread word about Rewin and it's kind of been working in our favor we're gonna go ahead and welcome Melly back into our ranks as our troops try to heal back up they're gonna have a chance to do so on the inside as well so we need to attack before long we'll wait until they give us another chance the morning has arrived and we've made ourselves a profit. Unfortunately, yeah, the ironworks is actually costing us money now. I'm not sure what's going on there at the moment, but hopefully by the time morning rolls around, we will be able to get an attack in here. That or I will just have to ask them very nicely. Time is continuing. Early morning. Actually, maybe it's not. No, I don't know if it was. 37 more days here. Um, let's see. We could wait until tomorrow, prepare ladders to attack. I'm going to wait one more day here and just see what we get out of it. We are going to donate. It's got us some renown. And let's see, some of them have stolen ale. We lost some troops there. A longbowman and a sergeant. So we have 83 good men still with us at this stage and they should theoretically be... Um... Oh, thank you, Bryden. They should theoretically be healed. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Okay, so we are back at the morning again. Let's have a look at our party. Okay, so some of them are still recovering at this stage, but we can upgrade a whole heap of them. So I'm going to do exactly that after I've been through all of them. Well, we're going to be assaulting this place yet again. I did decide to wait a little bit longer. Um, we actually have 31 days of food left. 13 from foraging, that's pretty good. Our men have captured a man outside and uh, he attempted to set fire to our camp. As you parade him in front of the enemy fortifications, we decide to geld him, behead him. We will geld him, we lose honor. I'm not sure what gelding meant. Ah, okay, but we gained some renown for that. Okay, all right, I see, I see. Melly has uh, leveled up to level 12. Okay, so most of us should be pretty good. Oh. We have some coins added to the Iron Bank as well. So we're still earning interest even though we are sieging this place down. Uh, we can see that they do have four other lords here, but they only have 300 troops here. So we are, we are getting them down. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. And I think we might even be able to outlast them here. Potentially. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade Melly. I'm going to get Aelin a a back in position as well. And, uh, well, I c we can only hope that this is going to continue to work out in our favor. Even though we did have a loss, it was one that we can work our way through. We are waiting another day. They have about 34 days worth of food left. I'm waiting to see the our last year. So we've got 30 days at this stage. Foraging is helping though. So we might be able to get that to last a little bit longer at this stage. Ooh. Okay, we have some casualties. That's not as good. Ah, oh dear. Um, let's see if we can give it some line. The fish got away. Well, unfortunately, we did lose some troops. We're down to 77 at this stage. We're sieging with a lot less than I would like to be. We still have high quality troops. 
we can only hope that it's going to be enough to keep the Bravosi inside their walls. Okay, we waited a little bit more and we do have 34 days. We are taking casualties though. Unfortunately, there are accidents that are happening and it's costing us troops, which I am not in favor of. The chance of us starving them out gets less and less. Although in saying that, when we do lose more troops, well, we last for longer. So we might, we might be able to starve them out, but that's going to take a lot of waiting around. It is a full month of keeping them inside their walls. If we can manage to do that, though, that's going to be quite the achievement. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, a deserter from the enemy has joined our ranks. He has informed us that fear and discontent is spreading inside. Return him to the enemy. He is welcome to join our ranks. We will... Return him to the enemy. We gain some honor. Okay. I feel like that was the smartest decision for us to make at this stage. 34 days left for us, and they have, I believe at this stage, 32 remaining. We'll find out in the morning. And here we are. Let's see. 31. We are getting them down. We wait until tomorrow. Hmm. Your peasants have accumulated the heads of enemies and dead peasants. Do you want to launch them over the walls to undermine the enemy morale and cause disease? I mean, yes, sure. I mean, we lose honor, okay, but yeah. <laughs> oh god. Rough, we gain renown. Our men think we're heartless, but they're in awe of us. Well, yep. Yeah. Sometimes a little bit of cruelty is needed. The sooner that we can end this, the better. And uh, while the Bravosi might be surprised, this level of cruelty is definitely not um, unknown to the people of Essos. It's something that's quite common. As we saw riding here, we saw grim, grim, grim signs along the road. We will continue to wait, but before we do, we've got some upgrades to do. Ugh, great. They started a fight with some guards, two were killed. Less mouths to feed, but that's less that are watching the walls. Hmm. Well, it's another morning. They are still holding out. They aren't getting any new troops, but I thought it should be about time that we check in and see how the Targaryens are doing. They have managed to capture the Weeping Town just recently off of the Stormlands, so they're making headway even though they are a small player to begin with. I think the main thing that is making a difference here is that we have managed to keep all of the lords inside of here even though we do seem to have these <laughs> unfortunate events that occur from time to time we have managed to keep yeah quite a few of them inside of here so they haven't been able to build up their troops to launch a counter-attack which i think is absolutely crucial at this stage mm, our food stores have been partially destroyed that is not good we're going to punish the men that were on duty we lost an item of bread now as to how far that sets us back i don't know at this stage we'll find out once we uh okay we've got 32 days so we're still well ahead of them at this point they are down to 20. ah interesting our guards have found the defenders have poisoned the water with dead animals do you want to buy water and ask the merchants to bring it in via our supply route Yes, we have the coins to spend. I'm more than happy to do so. They're throwing wildlife over the walls. Interesting. Well, I say wildlife, but it's not exactly wild. They are down to 26 days. We are getting there. Ah, excellent. Another ambush. We managed to kill 39, wound 14 of our enemies. We are going to reward our men for that. Excellent work. And another week goes by. A week in which we earn a decent profit. Because look at that. The ironworks at the Weeping Town has started making bank again. Very good. Ironworks at Old Town though, not so much. I think those Targaryens are in need of our tools. Okay. Brilliant news again. Not that much time went by, but during the night we had another foraging party that came out and uh, well fantastic work we are going to reward them for their efforts excellent excellent job they are just down to 272 inside the castle here we might not even have to wait the full duration if we do well we do if we don't well that's good too we are down to 20 days 
No new events yet? Ah, okay, I take it back. Excellent work. Another 24 kills. We will reward them for their valiant efforts. And, well, we'll be sure come the morning to see exactly how many more troops we have left. Um, you know what? We're good. We need to stay focused at the stage. Focused on our goal. We haven't gone down from 70, although we have another... Hmm, we're going to free the animal. We have more than enough food at this stage. We've still got 29 days. Garrett is doing a fantastic job at... Um, making sure that we have more than enough to go around and yep they're they're down well beneath 300 now those other lords have had no chance to recruit from these villages either because well we're keeping them locked inside here but also we have Norvo so kind of helping us out by constantly raiding them definitely helping us and another week more profit on top excellent we're definitely surviving here and across the board we're looking much better than we were before very happy about that hmm Unfortunately, we lost some troops. Only one this time. We're down to 69. And I think, well, I think that we're going to be just fine. We can see that we now have 20,000 coins in the Iron Bank of Bravos. So, yeah, each day we wait. We've got more and more building up inside there. Okay. Our camp is a mess. Everywhere rats and other vermin are rummaging through the garbage. With every step, your feet sink into what you hope is mud. The men are beginning to look sick and some of them seem demotivated. Building latrines and digging wells. Let's get them invested. We've still got more time to spend here. With 27 days of food left though, we well outlast those inside the walls of Bravos. And just like that, only 10 days remain. Our siege camp is vulnerable to attack, but they have decided to stay well within those walls. We are going to call for a meeting with the castle commander, see if they are willing to surrender yet. No, they... they want to wait. They want to wait. And so we shall. Another week, some more profit. It's down across the board. But I guess that's to be expected from time to time. Still, we are easily able to afford our numbers, and we even have some upgrades. Okay, we are down to one more week. Mmm, rough. This is going to cost quite a bit. 1500. We're towards the end of the siege. It is starting to bleed our funds. We have funds inside the city, though. If only we could get in. Four days left. Hmm, another deserter. We are going to return him to the enemy. But things aren't good inside the walls, it would seem. Oof. Unfortunately, a very bad month all across the board. Our new wealth is very low at this stage. We can't afford to pay for maesters. This is going to be down to the wire. One day remaining. We lost some Ra. We had to punish some of our men. But we should be able to wait. What will happen, I don't know. I honestly have never sieged a place down like this before. We're going to ignore some berries. We're not going to get distracted now. Not while our goal is here. See, I know 69 troops was going to be the amount that we needed. Let's see. Come the morning, they will be fully out of food. We might still have to give it an extra day or two. But we'll find out soon enough. That balance inside is looking really good. Let's see. The town's food stores have run out. The defenders are starving. Let us call for a meeting with the castle commander. I suggest that you surrender. Allow us to walk inside and take control. It is for the best. Your situation is now hopeless. Ah, surrender. We can hold these walls until we die of old age. Then die you shall. We shall wait until tomorrow. Then we will ask again. We will find out. Oh, okay. Not so good. We lost nine. We're not on our magic number anymore. A fire in our camp has taken us down to 60. That's not good. Mm. A branch falls off a tree and hits us in the head. Also terrible luck. At first you feel fine, but soon your vision turns blurry and you have trouble concentrating. Send for a maester, please. 
Okay, our head is cleared, but we still feel weak. Not good. Just a little bit further. A little bit more. That's all we will need. We gain some strength though, jumping in water. What can you do? Actually, our strength has gotten much, much higher. Well, we don't see their numbers going down too far, but um, we're gonna have to let them starve for a few more days at this, at this stage. Just waiting out a little bit longer. Soon, soon they will talk. Oh my God. This is just the morning afterwards. They're down to 34 troops. Out of 265, they are starving. We will call yet again, and we will ask. They want to continue to wait. And so wait, we shall. <sighs> Not much longer left now. Surely. They sallied out. They sallied out. Here we go. You have no chance against us. Surrender now, or we'll kill you all. <laughs> Surrender? I have been waiting for the opportunity. I would hope you would go quietly, but fine. We will fight you to the end. And that we shall. <laughs> and now we've got a fair fight. 60 against their 52. Let us take to the field. Okay, oh, this is actually happening outside. I was not anticipating that. Okay, all right, archers, I want to have you here. Infantry, I want to have you up here. Cavalry, we're going to get you off towards the side. Is that a river up here that runs the whole way across? No, it just snarts there. Okay, so maybe not the best place to have our cav. Cav, can you go, like, over there? Oh, 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 okay. All right, so as soon as they crest the hill, they're going to be met by our archers, who are going to be on this hill here. We want our infantry line to be around about here. That should work out just fine. We'll keep the cavalry off towards the side. We will bring them in when we need to. It is a fair fight, so to speak. Um, oh gosh, I would really like those archers to be a little bit further up here. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen though. Okay, it's not gonna happen at all. So yeah, they don't, <laughs> they don't like to listen when they're that close to the edge. Really doesn't give us any kind of hill advantage. Um, I think they might be going for our, our cavalry because they're the closest thing that they can see. Ah, uh, no, yeah, they, they have kind of set up. Holy balls. Okay, yeah, I don't like that very much. So, Cav, actually, let's get you back over here. Archers, can I get you to crest the hill? I know it's not exactly what you want. We could send the cavalry in. Yikes, I feel like I'm just going to lose my head. Yeah, cavalry, we're going to get you to charge. That'll be a distraction as our archers start to move up. Okay, formation orders, advance 10 spaces. Archers again, advance 10 spaces. 10 paces, really. Okay, that's our cavalry, they have engaged the enemy. Let's pull them back out again. Or rather, pull them back to this point here. They don't need to go across the river. Okay, archers are doing something. You see that they've got an infantry ball here, just off towards the side. Let's get some kills. We can be patient. We can outlast this. We've waited this long. We can wait some more, can't we? Look at them. They're trying to bring their infantry ball back at the stage. All right, cavalry, we're going to send you in yet again. I want you to charge in against them. Their shields are holding up pretty well. I mean, their archers can't really seem to hit much from here. Oh, one of our poor cav are without their horse at the moment. Poor sods. So as soon as they actually hit that infantry clump, we're going to get them to come back again. Looks like the majority have. Alright, come back over here, please. We're going to play this fight safe, I tell you. So we are going to need troops after this as well. Many, many troops. Okay. 
Okay, the cavalry have returned. The infantry ball is still in effect. We could try and see if we can pick up some of these stragglers. Let's see if I can get this crossbow in here. Maybe not. Our archers are in an okay position. They're just not really able to get too much. Let's get them advancing again. Cav, back a little bit further please. You know what, screw it. Cavalry, let's go in. I'm going for a charge. I'm going to call the infantry in it as well. The numbers are lessened. We got this, champs. Oh. Not what I was after. I don't know if that's a full retreat that they're doing. I don't think it is. Oh, maybe it is. Shoot, it is. Got him. We're good, you can head back there, bud. Okay. Missed. It's okay. They still got a lot of troops up. They are going down. And our infantry are moving in. They're going to start cleaning up as well. Their little ball is still doing their thing. Let's fish off this group. They definitely have some veterans in that group. So pretty well armoured. Trying to go for the headshots where I can while riding past because it does actually make a difference. That's a lot of arrows in your shield there, mate. Come on. Clean up. Clean up. Good job, men. That, I believe, is the battle complete. We had eight wounded and we managed to kill every one of the defenders that sallied out against us. We will share the loot with our men and we'll take what we can for ourselves because we're going to need to make a little bit extra coin back afterwards. Some are ready to upgrade and well I don't think they have much left here. They've still got 58 inside the wall so I don't know where that other group came from. A little frightening. Hmm. We will just have to power on that little bit longer. Well, it's the start of another day. They've managed to get back to a hundred troops in here somehow. Even though they are starving. They are not yet ready to surrender. We're going to continue waiting. They will weaken. They have to. They have no food. They can only survive for so long. Patience is needed. Ooh. This is not good, and I don't know why it's dropping off as much as it is, but our die works. Now, wow, we just managed to make that a positive. Only just. That's terrifying. And their numbers have bounced back up, and I don't know how that's happened. They are starving. They are definitely starving, but they seem to have no want to surrender. Not yet. Times are tough. Well, the strangest thing is that they've bounced back up in their troops. And surprisingly enough, they've got over 200 back in there now, which is incredibly concerning. We still have enough to survive many, many days. But unless their troops drop down again, we're going to be here for a lot longer. There we go, 28. This might be the chance that we have to take. It is only 28, but I'm sure that they are semi-decent troops however we're gonna take it we have to it's now or never we are going to repair and attack oh what we have to wait again that's unbelievable I guess we don't have the ladders there still well all right I guess we have to wait 30 hours I can only hope that they don't have all of those bloody men back by then okay it's complete I can only hope that they haven't regained many in this time. We're going to lead our soldiers in the assault. 
they will have been able to recover somewhat, and that they have. But we need to get in here fast and be the difference maker in this fight. Watching out for those bloody crossbows at the same time. Up we go, folks, up we go. All right, good work. Do we have any up here? We do. We've got quite a few, in fact, it looks like. Wow, you're not easy to hit at all. Okay, well, we did get a hit in there. I think we'll be able to help out more on the side. Need to watch out for those bloody archers at the top, though. Alright, up we go. Oh, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Lots of crossbows. Lots of crossbows still. Come on, Raywin. Not like this. Oh, wow, they've still got so many men. Well, it looks like they were able to recover. So we're going to be that difference maker. Come on. Okay, they're heading up that way. We need to head this way as well. One of them is already ready and waiting for us. Many of them, in fact. Come on, then. Try as you might. I'm trying to be as cautious as we can while still having an impact on them. Here we go. Looks like we've got, well, we've got our first little bit of backup. Still a few too many here for my liking. But this works, so far. Good job to that one single crossbow in here. You're a bloody champion, you are. Oh. Yep, tank that shot for me, thank you. Oh, yep, many more up there. Oh, oh no. <gasps> That's unfortunate. We're gonna drown. And I don't think I can stop it. Maybe. Can we get back to the surface in time? Oh, that is balls. That is absolute balls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, I don't think we can do anything for Raywin there. Apart from that, that's going to give us a chance to, well, take control of someone else. So let's see what we can do here. Well, they're working their way down. I can't see any enemies that we can shoot at at this stage. But they are still out here. <laughs> we can't take a shortcut there. Damn, okay, well, got to watch out for those little drop points. I think, though, that this should be some of the last units left here. Still defending the place. Alright, no. Yep. I think we're all over this. And just like that, with the cheers calling out, I think the Siege of Bravos is finally done. Yes, we were victorious. Okay. Now, is that all of them? Okay, one of them managed to escape. <laughs> Let's see, are we going to keep you prisoner? I think we're gonna keep you prisoner. I feel like that's gonna be the smartest thing that we can do for now. Uh, our relations with Lice have gone down a little bit. Volantis and everything else have gone up though. Okay, another managed to escape. <sighs> we will share the loot with our men. We will take what we can for ourselves. And... <laughs> <laughs>
Martin, thank you. Thank you. My lady, we have taken Bravos. Who do you wish to give it to? I will take Bravos for myself. As you wish, my lady. <sighs> Raven Keltica of Player Faction has taken ownership of Bravos, Traeger, and Uthmo. Wow. Here we go. Bravos has fallen. To our troops. We are now in control of the town. We can plunder spoils of war for 700, well, 60, 6700 coins, 7,600. You may station troops here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Also, you should select now whether or not you will hold the town for yourself or give it to a faithful vassal. We are going to hold it for ourselves. We're going to continue. And yeah, here we go. You now possess land in your name, and you are not the subject of another noble. This makes you a ruler in your own right, with your court temporarily located at Bravos. However, the other sovereigns will at first consider you a threat, for if any upstart warlord can grab a throne, then their own legitimacy is called into question. You may find it desirable at this time to pledge yourself to an existing kingdom. If you wish to continue as a sovereign ruler, then your first priority should be to establish an independent right to rule. You can establish your right to rule through several meanings. Uh, marrying into a highborn family, recruiting new lords, governing your lands, treating with other treating with other rulers, or dispatching your companions on missions. Uh, at any rate, your first sh step should be to appoint a chief minister from among your companions to handle affairs of state. Different companions have different capabilities. You may appoint new ministers from time to time. You may also change the location of your court by speaking to the minister. Now, I believe the best person for the job would be Bryden Storm. However, however, Bryden is amazing at surgery and losing him from our party would be unfortunate hmm. Cyril is very good when it comes to talking with others uh, convincing them of things so Cyril might be the best for the job considering he's also from Essos so Cyril congratulations my friend you are our minister he can be found at court in Bravos we should consult periodically to avoid the accumulation of unresolved issues that might sap your authority continue now we need a name this is going to be incredibly difficult and i'm going to need some time to think about this okay after much thought after much deliberation i have decided to go for carcinus so carcinus is effectively latin for crab um i feel like carcinus is, isn't a bad name for a kingdom so carcinus is going to be yeah, Carcinus is going to be us. Perhaps even a new family name. Hmm. That is correct. I'm just looking, I'm looking at it, I'm double checking. Okay. Yeah. And we can see that they actually like us quite a bit here. During this time, I did all of like these donations and stuff like that to Bravos. So we have certainly won the favor of them. Um, yeah. So, unfortunately, it's a bit rough here. It's a bit rough. But still, Bravos, Bravos is now our own. If we go to the castle, if we go to the castle, we can see this is, uh, this is our, well, our throne room, I guess you would call it. We have many people here, many families that have decided to reside in the keep still many of whom I think we'll need to talk to over time ladies of the night and not bad Raywin not bloody bad an achievement and a half so we can talk to Cyril over here about matters of state yes Next, before we leave, I think we should visit the Iron Bank and enter it. We shall. Cyril, farewell.
well, hello and farewell. We need to withdraw a fair amount, and I think we're actually going to get... We'll take the whole lot out for now. Uh, whoops, retreat. Uh, retreat a thousand. And then we'll just go ahead and retrieve bit by bit. And just leave the last lot in there. Thank you very much for the coins. Much appreciated. So, let's go to the marketplace real quick. We're going to sell off some bits and pieces. We can see that we can actually buy chalices here very, very cheap. Which is, uh, that's great. Because always making money is a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Um, these plated boots are actually pretty good. I'm half tempted. Well, I think we are going to hold on to them. We definitely need to uh, divvy them out among some of the others. And you know what? Those plated gauntlets are actually better. They should have actually had a proper look. Those kettle helmets are pretty good as well. We'll hold on to them because we can give them to some of our some of our troops. Excellent. We are going to head back. We can manage the garrison, which we are most certainly going to need to do. But before we do anything else, we are going to uh, leave. So we can see ourselves on the main map. But that's not exactly what we're going to do first. No, as the newly enthroned ruler of a sovereign realm, many men and women come seeking your favor. Goldsmiths, uh, master armorers, and all sorts of craftsmen flock to your court. And you're soon overwhelmed with requests for work or lucrative contracts. The goldsmiths and armourers in particular are persistent in their praise of your rule and how you should have a crown suitable for your noble head. You decide to request an expensive crowned helm? And it's not that much more. Sure. Sell it with crown. Okay, we do need to remember that we've got about 20,000 coins in the bank at that point. Okay, right. As the goldsmiths and armourers leave your court to return to their work, you notice one man loitering in the corner. When everyone else has left, he, he introduces himself as Rosselio of Cohor, a renowned armourer. He offers to forge you a magnificent helmet suitable for a champion such as yourself. A, a helmet? Damn it, we just got one. <laughs> okay, what do we want? A reinforced armor? A reinforced great helm? I think great helm might be a little bit more uh, speed. Yes, sure, fantastic. Decorated tournament helmet. So we've got two different helmets at this stage. <laughs> Yes, okay. To cement your rule, you've decided to get the blessing of the gods. The coronation ceremony will be a grand affair. And announce to the world your benevolence and right to rule. We decide to request that a septon anoint you with holy oils. We request that a red priest perform a fiery ritual. We request that the drowned priest puts a crown on a head or a weirwood crown. Well, we are still more of the seven. However, being... In Essos, I'm wondering if it would be better for us to request something different. We aren't going to ignore the gods. The gods got us here, definitely. The question is, which god? Which god in particular? Hmm. We are in the east, so I think it might be right for us to have a more traditional. And we get two points to right to rule. Excellent. And finally... We can now shape the domestic policy of our sovereignty. Do we wish to change our policy now? Yes, I wish to change the domestic policy. Let's have a look. Centralization. Okay, this is this is interesting. Neither too centralized nor decentralized. High centralization reduces tax inefficiency for, for the king and raises it for the vassals. This will interfere with the relationship between the rulers and the vassals. I think we're probably going to want to keep these, you know, for the most part the same. Uh, troop quality. High troop quality increases the strength of the troops, but decreases army size. Mediocre. I'm, I'm tempted to go for good quality instead of mediocre. I think good quality will do well. And we've got mercantilism. Or mer mercantilism? No, they're particularly mercantile. Mercantile, not entirely lays fair. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, unfortunately. I haven't heard the term before. Um, okay, the policy maximizes exports while minimizing imports and increase government regulation of industry. We're going to keep it as it is. I think that's the only thing that we're going to change at this stage. And now we can see ourselves as a beautiful blue. A, a blue that probably is really quite close to Goldtown uh, and the Vale. But as far as everything goes over here in the east, we don't really have anything that's 
quite that kind of blue. In terms of colors, the only other thing that I could think of going for would be kind of like the gray up here that the, you know, that castle black has. It's a little bit more boring though, as far as that goes. But yeah, here we go. Bravos is ours. And we have a lord here. Interesting. Currently in Bravos. Who? Bravos has, yeah, Bar Bravos Carstenus has zero. Oh, you're from the Three Sisters. I see. I just moused, moused over you for a moment there. Yeah, so I have no idea how and when others will come our way, but no, no doubt they will. We now have Bravos. Carstenus is now a, a power in the world. Can we defend Bravos from the other lords who no doubt will want to take it for themselves? I think the next step for us will be taking Rios over here, trying to take it from uh, Lorath. Won't be easy. Won't be easy. And I don't think we'll be wanting to go for a long siege. Yeah. But at the very least, I think we might be able to hand out these as thieves, potentially. I'll see if I can, because if we could get another Lord on our side, that would be fantastic. Because at this stage, we really need to build up our troops. Managing the garrison means that we can go ahead and drop a whole heap of our troop in here, which we're certainly going to need to do. Hmm. We can keep you here. Yes. I wonder if we can manage you after that. Possibly. Possibly. Um, you might notice that things are slightly different. Unfortunately, when I uh, came out of my meeting with Cyril for the first time, I had a complete crash. So I had to go back and kind of do that last bit again. But we're settled now, and we've even got farmers. Look at that. Traveling to the Bravos. Excellent. I have no idea how much income all of this is going to uh, pour in, but I'm excited, and I can't wait to see where all of this goes. Uh, we're going to have to hold yeah transfer a whole heap of these troop into here and try and train up more but now we can see our maximum is a lot higher 368 we can finally defend ourselves against our enemies um and you know what before we finish things up we are going to have a look at our inventory and we can see that uh yes wow that is rather quite good and it is red as well we obviously have our salad here with the crown atop it a very good look for Raywin, I might say so, but I also absolutely love this one here as well, which um, actually does the same amount as that salad there, but that means that that's going to be a good helm that we can give to someone else. Honestly, I'd be half tempted for us to keep this, keep that on. We can divvy that out to our others, but for now, uh, we can just enjoy the view in Bravos. Having patience and fortitude. The Iron Crab and her band finally broke the city of Bravos. Raywin half expected to be spat on as she walked through the city gates, but instead she was greeted by faces of relief. Relief that the siege was done and that the hero they'd seen fight in so many tourneys was to replace the corrupt and malevolent sea lords that had ruled Bravos. Perhaps the winds of change were here, or perhaps she would be nothing more than a tyrant. The siege was not easy on the city, nor was it easy on Raywin and her band. It would take time to recover, but they might not have the luxury of time. As the other lords of the East set their gaze upon the weakened state, Bravos was still very much in danger. Just how much would remain to be seen in the days to come. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to our Legion on Patreon, who continue to make this content possible. 